Okay, there we go. Um, that's better. Never satisfied. I'm going to go for somewhere in between. I'm going to call it 25. And I'm going to trust that that renders out fine later on. Now, it's by no means perfect. I, I think these were, trees would die pretty quick if they were planted that close to the edge there. So if I had more time, I'd go in and I'd, I, I would change that. But um, I want to crack on and show you how, um, uh, how we finish this, basically. Um, so we'll close that. And um, I'm going to turn off uh, the uh, X-ray. I don't want to see it. So I'll ch choose it and just tick visible so it disappears. Um, and I'm going to save the file because I've made some changes to the particle flow um, uh, setup. So I want to save those changes for the next tree as well that we're going to create. So I'll save it. Um, and I'm going to come back to this point uh, to make the L-shaped tree. But right now we're going to do as before and we're going to um, bake this as a mesh, as it were. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll do that. So I'll press H and we need to choose the trunk and the particle flow and hide everything else. And there's our tree. We're going to create a compound object again, a mesher, and we need to make sure that's in the center of the scene. So just choose the move tool and uh, center the transform of that. And then pick the object, which will be the particle flow. Right click and convert that to an editable mesh. We can choose that particle flow and hide it. Uh, and then choose a trunk and we're going to right click and convert to an editable mesh. Then we're going to attach the mesh object. And then we're going to affect pivot only and center it to the object, but then reset the pivot of the transform down here to zero. this uh, convert this to a uh, V-Ray mesh so a V-Ray mesh export we're going to choose the um, project folder Give it a name. We're going to automatically create a proxy. Reduce the number of faces in the preview. There we go. And now go to File, Save As. Um, it's actually we're going to change the V-Ray proxy name here. Um, it's called V-Ray Proxy Trunco One. Uh, we're going to change that to uh, the same name as a mesh file. Just copy and paste the name in there. Save selected. saving it as a V-Ray mesh, we are saving it as a max file, but that's the, uh, it's got the same name. Uh, okay, so when we want to bring that into the garden scene, um, we'll just find uh, the that scene, um, rect rectangular topiary 01.max, merge it in, and it will bring in this V-Ray proxy uh, with all the materials and everything. Um, so now we're going to do exactly the same for the L-shaped um, tree, and to do that we need to just jump back a step and open up this file here, which was before we baked the mesh. We, we, we don't want to save the changes. And I think 
it's taking a while to load in because it's loading in the XREF as well, um, which we could turn off really. I was, I was um, happy with how the tree looked in the garden. We can detach that. it uh, let's just unhide everything so the first thing we'll update is a box 01 and we'll go to edit poly element choose that delete it, attach that, so it updates the um, uh, particle flow and we need to update the density of that as well because it's a different a different sized cube and we, we want to match the densities. Mm, in fact before we do that I really ought to have um, measured how big this is so I've, I've gone back a few steps there um, and I've got box 01 chosen, nothing else just that guy. Let's make this a bit clearer. And I'm going to go to utilities, measure. I'm just going to make a note of its um, surface area. So I'll call that um, 40 square meters. I'm just going to write that down. And its volume is um, 14 cubic meters. I'm just going to make a note of that. Okay, and we can use those um, we can use those to calculate uh, the birth rate of the L-shaped um, tree as well, and um, you know, and get the same density. Uh, so where was I? Yeah, I was deleting that element. And then I was attaching that, so it's updated the particle flow straight away. I'm going to hide that and we're going to come back to that and adjust that in a minute um, but now we're going to choose these elements here and I choose all of them and delete them and I'm going to attach those ones and then in the front viewport I'm going to choose the elements Oh, sorry, I'm going to come off attach, uh, choose the elements, and the bottom of the polygons, I'm going to control, choose those, oh, I'm sorry the viewports, it's a bit confusing there, it's quite hard for me to tell what's happening as well, it's not sure why it's doing that, um, let's just see if it's trimming correctly there. Yeah, it's, it's trimming um, the branches within the L and uh, keeping all the uh, thick branches, the boughs at the bottom as well. Um, so yeah, that's that's working. Not sure what the viewport was doing then. Um, okay, now we need to um, work out uh, the uh, the amount of particles we need to match the density of the uh, rectangular shaped tree that we have. Uh, right, um, we need to work out how to uh, increase the particle flow, um, the birth number, on um, to make the um, the densities match on both of these tree trees. Um, so we're going to need the part. We're going to need to see the particle flow um, system there. Just going to check the new uh, dimensions of this in the measure, uh, and that's 50 for the surface area, and um, I'm going to call that 20 for the volume. I'm doing maths in my head, I'm going to have to round up, I'm afraid. Um, 
So I've written down the the um, the values for the rectangular uh, tree were um, 40 for the surface area. So 40 to 50 is um, um, an ex an extra 25 percent, and the volume goes up from 15 to 20. Uh, so that's um, a th that's an extra 33 percent. I'm going to stop the video and, and check that a bit later on. I think that's right. Um, okay, and uh, choose a particle flow source. Go to particle view, and uh, we want to increase this number, the the birth rate, twenty five thousand. Um, uh, well, we're going to split it. I'm going to get the calculator out. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go. Um, it's splitting into two, so. Uh, Twelve and a half thousand are going to the um, surface here. And the um, surface was an extra twenty five per cent. So it's fifteen six hundred. And then um, Increase this by a third. Um, Sixteen and a half thousand. Uh, so add the other number, which was fifteen six hundred. So we need to increase it to thirty two. 32,000 or something it doesn't need to be doesn't need to be bang on what was it 32 2 uh, so that should if I've done my maths right that should give us um, a, a very close uh, density uh, to the rectangular shaped tree that we just made um, you know what you could probably do that by eye as well but um, it's interesting to you know, if you haven't seen these uh, measure tools before that they, they can be quite useful so we're going to unhide everything okay I'm just going to choose the source and the trunk I'm going to create another mesher object and again move that to zero zero in the scene. You see the bit slow now in the viewport of that particle flow system there. It's, it is showing at a hundred percent here so it's going to be a bit slow. So choose a mesher object Pick the object to mesh and I'm going to choose a particle flow and straight away I'm just going to convert that to an editable mesh and I'm going to also choose the trunks uh, right click on that convert to editable mesh attach the mesher object it's a disgraceful bright red color I'm not really sure what the viewports doing there but um, I'm going to trust that it is working 